Good evening and welcome to the Thoro Newspaper Analysis for 18th October 2022. So today we do have a news editorial article which has been taken from the Hindu and it is titled as Judicial Committee over Arithmetic. Following that, we will have the news update and the legal news, which you know are a part of Law Seekers Initiative. So with that, we move on to the news editorial article for today. Now, a constitution bench of the Supreme Court has unanimously held that a judgment delivered by a larger bench will prevail over the decision of a smaller bench, irrespective of the number of judges constituting the majority in the larger bench. Now, this canon of law seeks to ensure that there is a stability and consistency in the decisions of the court. However, if we do follow this procedure, there are certain issues that arise. And they are, the judgments of the SC are generally given out by two judge benches. Now, however, due to this blanket adherence to the doctrine of precedence would mean that the logic or reasoning that is there between the different judges and the appeals based thereupon is undermined by mere numbers. Now, the Supreme Court justified the binding nature of the larger bench's view, saying that this view was arrived at after deliberating by more judges. But just because a decision was considered by more judges does not mean that it is correct and it is certainly would not be perceived to be correct. Now, this situation becomes all the more pragmatic. It becomes all the more doubtful if the judgment was passed by a majority of a four is to three majority in a bench of seven judges. So the immediate point of concern that would arise is that if somehow the judges were different, then this narrow margin would have been on the side of the negative uh, vote and hence the judgment would not come to pass. Now, what can we do or what can, in fact, the Supreme Court do to address this? Firstly, if such conflicts are to be avoided, then the court needs to change how certain terms are interpreted. Now, it is recommended that the term larger bench be understood not in the strict sense of being merely greater in strength than the lower bench. Instead, there should be an endeavor to have a quorum with a break even or a greater majority than the lower bench. Failure to address this difficulty in some manner will lead to the decisions of the Supreme Court being criticized on the grounds of having passed due to narrow majority. With this, we move on to the news updates. Firstly, Abdul Latif Rashid Iraq's new president. The Iraqi parliament chose Kurdish politician Abdul Latif Rashid to lead the country. Rashid won more than 160 votes against 99 for the incumbent Saleh. Rashid, who is 78, is a British educated engineer and was the Iraqi Minister of Water Resources from 2003 to 2010. Outgoing President Saleh reportedly walked out of the parliament building as the votes were tallied. Secondly, we have a grim picture for India, that is the Global Hunger Index of 2022. Now, previously, as you know, in the previous Global Hunger Index 2021, India was in the 101st rank. This year, India's rank on the Global Hunger Index slipped from 101 to 107 out of 121 countries. In fact, our neighboring countries, Nepal is at 81, Pakistan 99, Sri Lanka 64, and Bangladesh 84. Thirdly, India to host 90th General Assembly for Interpol. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi will address the 90th Interpol General Assembly in New Delhi. The 90th Annual General Assembly of Interpol will take place between October 18 to 21st at the Pragati Maidan, New Delhi. Now, for the fourth update today, we have new tiger reserve in Madhya Pradesh. The Madhya Pradesh Wildlife Board approved the new reserve for tigers of Panna Tiger Reserve, one-fourth of which will get submerged due to the linking of the Kin Betwa rivers, the officials said. With that, we move on to the legal updates. For today. Firstly, we have minister or public servant can file private complaint alleging defamation and did not follow special procedure under Section 199.2 and 4 of CRPC. Now, the Supreme Court... In the case of Manoj Kumar Tiwari versus Manish Sisodia, recently observed that a minister or a public servant who is covered under Section 199.2 of CRPC can file a private complaint alleging defamation and they need not follow the special procedure that is prescribed under Section 199.2 and 4 of CRPC. 
that was all for today for free study materials and tna pdf slides please join our telegram channel link of which you can find in the description given below or you can always scan the barcode that is given on your screen you can also visit www.lossico.com for any further information thank you